Hi, I'm Jason Schron, and I got a train in my basement. Come on. So this is my uh, full-size via rail coach in my basement. It's uh, one built in the 1950s for CN that via took over in 78 and then retired in the 1990s. And here it is sort of resurrected in the basement. This is the vestibule in here. Uh, we've got about 300 fake rivet heads that I had to glue on individually so that it looks authentic. I mean, everything has to look authentic, right? This is the real thing. You've got the hardware. Very important to have a gate so that you can't uh, fall out the back of the train, right? And uh, your handbrake, which is really handy. Of course, this train's not going anywhere, but you know, in case it ever decided to make a move, we wouldn't let it because uh, the brake's on. And uh, this is the door to the car, uh, coach number 5647, VRL Canada. And uh, here we go. So here we have the luggage rack from, uh, from Coach 5647 with the garbage can, a working garbage can. It really does work. Um, and, uh, and here are the very, very comfortable chairs. You can sit down. This is actually my home office right here. Uh, you make yourself, they recline, of course. And, uh, and they have fold down tray tables. You want to bring down your, uh, your cup of tea and uh, you know, sort of relax as you're going through the landscape that isn't really moving. I've even done something like uh, I had 1979, 1980 vintage via litter bags printed because I had ones in here from the 1990s and you know, it just wasn't right. You, you can't have 1990s litter bags in a 1980 coach. So this on the real uh, coach 5647, this is a very uncomfortable and cramped bathroom. Uh, so what I've done is I don't need a bathroom here. So I've created a counter area where uh, you've got your original, your via rail napkins and, uh, and your via rail stir sticks. I made all these because uh, you can't get them anymore. Um, and uh, bar fridge, you know, make a cup of tea, make a glass of scotch for somebody. And it's, uh, it's a really handy space. And on the other side is the record collection. Uh, so I'm, I built some shelves to look like a luggage rack, and, uh, and this is where I play my, uh, my Beatles, my Donovan, uh, my Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, I really should get into music of the last 30 years. I will get there eventually. So the trouble with building one of these in your house is that nobody ever keeps uh, cheap plywood storage locker doors. But this is an original cheap plywood storage locker door that was built by CN in the 1960s for this car. Um, and then you've got all the emergency tools here. I even made uh, fake emergency tool tags to go with them because I, you know, you got to have them. They have to all be dated for 1980. The ones I have are too late. Uh, the fire extinguisher, the first aid box. Uh, you've got the conductor's valve. If you pull that, the train will stop. It, it's already stopped, but if you pull it, it'll stop some more. On the real train, this is an electrical locker door, but I don't have an electrical locker. So I just made a fake door with the original hardware and the, and the hinges and everything. And people always come and pull this and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and uh, this, this is actually original doors uh, from the car. And this is the fake stuff that I built. And so you can see, this is the MacTac from 1980. Um, and this is the MacTac, as the DC fixed stuff that I got from Germany now. And they're, they're almost there. It's a very, very close match, but not quite, almost there. Um, this here up here is the uh, the light saying that the generator and the cooling is working. Uh, I have them all lit on just because it's they're neat. Um, you have a, a poster from the turbo uh, showing the turbo. I made this poster, but it's in original frame that would have been in this car. Uh, you've got the original uh, coat hooks. These are very wonderful castings that were in all of the old CN and Via cars. Um, the original uh, uh, window blinds, but I've stapled them up. So if anyone tries to blind, pull them, I'm in big trouble because the top thing is glued on. Um, and then, of course, you've got your tray tables here that fold down along with, uh, you know, your ticket folder. I actually printed these ticket folders um, to look like these are exact copies of, of 1980 ticket folders uh, so that you can have your, your fake ticket inside, you know, from 1980. Uh, I just love that stuff, your timetable and everything in the basket. 